The Matter Decompressor is finally under construction in the Eye of Ball system, which will be helping us on our way to an ecumenopolis on the colony of Augusta, as well, I'm sure, this ring world that we've been working on restoring for the past little while. Hey there, Legion. It's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Ancient Relics in our Roma Galactica 2.5 series. So we are about to take out about to take out a pirate base in the Silive. Let's just call it the Silive system. And we have a couple of unemployment issues uh, that I'm going to take care of very quickly as I kick off this episode. But uh, these should be relatively quick building decisions, I think. Let's go ahead and resettle you to uh, Cybrix Gamma. So we just have an unemployed worker there. And then Mars is in need of a new district, which is a perfectly reasonable request. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Pacifica is also going to need a little bit more there. Yeah, so as I mentioned, relatively quick decisions here. Perfect. Room for one more city district, and that's what's needed there. Now we have... Unemployment, so why don't we go ahead and do a commercial segment here since I haven't done that too much yet. Okay, now you have room for... Hmm. How am I looking on... Last episode we noticed that rare crystals are getting a little bit rarer, so we would like that not to be the case if we can help it. So I think I'm going to, where possible, build some synthetic crystal plants. We'll build an additional one here just to help out. And then it does seem that we are out of housing on Scythia with nothing to do about it because Scythia is a tiny little planet. Okay, good to know. And we'll upgrade that for a little bit of extra housing there. And then Telepylos, we will build, well, first of all, we will buy. And then we will build an additional mining district. I'll upgrade you. And then it seems like housing could become an issue soon, so we'll build luxury residences. All right, synthetic crystal plants are queued up here. Why don't I do one more mining district? And then we look golden. Let's build a uh, energy district there. All right, moving along. Engaging As I mentioned, we are station. building. Yeah, the station's going to die relatively quickly. There goes the pirate station. A little bit of energy and uh, minerals for it, not a lot. Now we do, unfortunately, and annoyingly, need to rebuild that research station since the pirates blew it up like jerks. You can see that some um, Science division trade value is starting to become available in Cybrix Prime, so I may have to do a station here eventually. Starbase capacity has been improved by one. Hey, perfect timing. That couldn't have been better timed. We're going to go for capacity boosters for our leaders. Construction so complete. this will give additional leader level cap and lifespan, but make them twice as expensive. The Euthonian Corporation has closed their borders to us. We are already close to them, so screw you too, is what I have to say to that. We're building up alloys now. We have one more... That goes my voice a little bit. I mentioned in the last episode that I'm still recovering a little bit from not feeling particularly well, so my voice, my voice will do funny things as I just get used to talking without having to stop to cough. Um, <laughs> so, uh, complete. what was I saying? We have Cybrix Prime. We have one more section of this ring world that we would like to restore. And then once that's done, we won't have as many things that are really pulling all of our 10,000 chunk alloy, 10,000 chunks of alloys away as quickly. We also have some alloy production building up on our various planets. So we are keeping an eye on two wars as well. Okay, we are in a slight rare crystals shortage, which hopefully will resolve soon. But that has to do with the fact that I've been upgrading some of my production buildings. So I'll have to keep a close eye on that so as not to... All right, there we go. It's fixed itself slightly. Just slightly. Construction complete. Hmm. See, I could go for additional crystals production here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Construction complete. Just going to go all in on crystals production for a bit because a lot of my upgrades that I'm doing are looking for that particular resource at the moment. I will also do a little bit of extra moats production. Bearing in mind that this will affect my mineral income. Again, we're about to have something come in that's going to actually give us considerably more minerals. That is the construction of the matter decompressor. Also, we're going to have a Dyson Sphere in Cormagian. 
I, would, I need to move complete. one of my construction ships back. Construction complete. Now, why is that? Oh, yeah, that's right. Research project and system. Go ahead and do that. I sent them there to orbit the star and see if that would do it. Apparently, you can only give the order from outside the system. That was a few episodes back, but I'm glad I caught that, because that wasn't going to be there for that many more days. Or maybe it will be. I don't know. I saw the 180 days. That's that's not a... Construction That's complete. just a research project. So, no, never mind. There, there wasn't a timer on that. Greener grass. Three pops depart double. And we lose ten influence. You jerks. You are not being nice to me today, are you? Let's do chemical plants. Ships refitted. Now. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more housing on Aurora. Now, Augusta is going to be our... Uh, ecumenopolis the arcology project it's an agro world at the moment but we're going to convert it fully into a city world we can start doing that now although I mean yeah, I suppose I can go ahead and just start doing that science division report success alright so we've just replaced all of those and now we need to do the same. Wait a minute. Why can I not do this? Maybe I need to... Uh, okay, well I'll let those finish and then figure out why that's happening. But what are we looking at? All right, good. Marauder missiles are done. I probably need to go ahead and go for the Titan hull points. Another thing I need to do is add some more defense platforms. I haven't done that a whole lot to the existing stations that I have. I do also need to upgrade these fully to citadels, which I haven't done yet. I haven't really given these new stations a whole lot of love at all. But I would like, before I do any of that, to get up to 10,000 alloys and give the order. So we're going we're gonna to have an episode coming up. Maybe not this one, but the next one or the one after that in which we deal with our border defenses in a rather systematic way. Construction complete. And we should be able to boost our starbase capacity as well as we work toward that. It seems like they have a little bit of unemployment here, so why don't we go ahead and build another farming district? Construction complete. Okay, hold on. Guess we'd like to extend our deal, and that really wrecked my... <laughs> Ability to re-up the other edicts. There we go. Recycling and healthcare campaign are back. Now, I could use my surplus of influence to do the capacity overload and production targets. I'm not going to do that. I will, however, go ahead and go for research grants. I have a relatively large amount of influence right now, and it's good to Special give myself a little boost. Complete. I pr probably should have done that a little bit sooner, but engineering research gained 1,000. Very good. All right, so we have a few more upgrades that need to happen. I'm not going to click that button again, though, because I feel like that cost is lying to me. I feel like that's per ship. Construction complete. Is what that cost is, because I lost so many resources last episode queuing up upgrade orders, and that's the only thing that I could pin the, the sudden disappearance of my alloys on, and it wasn't supposed to be that much. Interdimensional trade decrease. It's a sad day. By the way, let me take a quick look at this. Interdimensional trade. I don't... Hmm. Oh, nice. I didn't know you could change the advisor voice now. In-game. That's probably been there for a while, and I just haven't noticed it. But um, what I was looking for is whether or not it's possible to actually see how much the interdimensional trade is helping us. Is it maybe in the situation log? No, it's not. Deja Vu Dig is where? It's not in our territory. It doesn't matter to me. All right, we can close both of those. Okay, so we have enough to finally finish with this. Let's go ahead and give the order. 
So now we have spent our last alloys on the ring world. We are definitely going to need to build a station here. So let's go ahead and get that done. Science division reports a new Another brain. option. No. Another option is to take an existing station like this one in Runa and just give it one... Yeah, why does this shipyard need to be there? I don't think that shipyard needs to be there. And also, it has a hangar bay already, but we're going to replace this... Tell you what, let's replace this anchorage. I'll leave the shipyard. We'll replace an anchorage with a trade hub. And that will allow me to collect the trade value from Cyberx Prime without adding an additional station in that system. Because I would like my additional station. Ideally, it needs to be in bid talks. Although, I'm probably going to take more territory from the Dabulin traders before too much longer. So, we'll, we'll save that extra station slot we have for now. All right, we have an additional... We have that policy. What's it called? Freaking... Yeah, leader enhancement capacity boosters. That thing. Now, let's see... Xenomorph army is tempting. Starbase capacity plus one is the one I like the most, but I also like the idea of having armies with more health and damage. Tomb world habitability plus 20 is also good, given that I do have a tomb world that we've been asked to colonize by the frickin' what are they called? Zenak continuance. Complete. I'm annoyed with them for asking me to do that because it's just, it's not complete. helpful to me in any way. So it's like, leave me alone, you jerks. But, you know. Construction complete. Construction Can't have it complete. all, I guess. Now, we are out of housing on this world, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot I can do about it. How are we doing on resources? I have a lot. All right, we have tons of rare crystals now. So, hmm. Tell you what, I'm going to replace the mineral, mineral purification hub with a luxury residence here. And then Hades... Now that our crystal situation has resolved itself a little bit, let's make sure that we have a similar kind of love for chemical plants. Now, how are we doing on this war, guys? 100% war exhaustion on part of the attackers. How are we doing on this war, guys? Same situation. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's kind of odd. But they're working their way through their conflicts. Taking it one step at a time. Let's resettle you guys to Cybrex Gamma. And I'm going to do another trade district at the Venus Habitat. Cybrex Gamma is ready for its gene clinic. For population growth purposes. How are we doing? Alright, so we have... Uh, Hmm. Between four and five years. On the construction of the matter decompressor. Oh, boy. Custodian protocol 625-1 activated. This is why I don't like these guys. Message follows. Attention organic civilization. Widespread biological vulnerabilities have been detected in the human population. In order to ensure your species' viability for the custodian project, all major population centers will require inoculation. Bioinjection units are prepared for dispatchal to your space upon positive confirmation to this message awaiting response. This will have unpredictable repercussions. And until these reper repercussions are revealed, our POP's happiness will be reduced. The Zenac continuance may react positively to our acceptance, or we can say we do not trust these inoculations. So this will reduce biological pop happiness and also affect our economy in every way, you know, for the foreseeable future. I'm going to say we don't trust them. Science division reports success. Because frankly, we don't. All right, another admin cap option. That's probably going to be the best option. Let's go for it. 50 months away. All right, how about we do some additional exotic gas refineries because that resource needs a little bit of love too. Construction complete. Chemical plants there. And then we are in need of some additional housing Construction on some complete. of these planets. Yeah, all right, so that unemployment is about to resolve itself. 
How the war's going? This one's still going. How's this one going? This one's still going too. The Raxar appear to be holding their own, but they definitely got exhausted. Their exhaustion limit was reached prior, of course, complete. to the Condine Concord, which is what you'd expect because it's they're up against the Federation. That's why I say they're holding their Construction own. Construction complete. All right, let's give the order for these upgrades. Doesn't appear to be sucking up that many resources, so I'm not, I really am not sure where those resources went. All right, so it looks like oh, this, this fleet's going to fly to Haribus for their upgrades. All right. Interesting choice. Science division report success. Ships right. refitted. Shields are now a little bit more powerful. We could go for the focused dark matter, although I don't particularly care to finish either of these. Um, energy credits from jobs plus 5% energy weapons attack speed. Yeah, let's go ahead and research that. That's a basic level technology that we've been complete. sitting on for a while. All right, we should be getting close-ish to the completion of the matter decompressor. Also, did I send a construction ship back to Cormagian yet? No, I didn't. Although the one that I sent to Demeski, I didn't even see what the outcome of that was. Maybe the construction caravaneers leaving was something to do with that. I'm not sure what was going on there. All right, so they're going to fly to Haribus, jump to Saul, and then head over to Chromagian, and that's where we're going to build our Dyson Sphere. Decided on that four or five episodes back, I think. Just needed to get a few other things done first. Hey, okay, let's see. Mars needs a couple of things here. Let's... We are starting to have... We're starting to see a little bit lower mineral production, which I don't need to freak out about too much, but I'm still going to keep an eye on. And then the mining district will help with... There's a couple of things I could do here. Let's do a mineral purification plant. Let's see, tradition available. Yep, Foreign Federation. Now we have 65 months until our final Ascension perk. Cannot freaking wait. We're going to stay on speed three. We are also officially in endgame territory. When it actually begins, we don't know. But we're on the way. We are on the way. Oh, wait, no, I don't need to build another mining district there. These are the districts I am converting. Okay, now it's giving me the option again. Not sure why it's limiting the number of times I can do this, but just working on it slowly but surely. Naf Digo has lots of options. How are we doing? Let's do a little bit more exotic gases. Hang on. Crystalline caverns. I'm guessing those have already been exploited. All right, so the Caravaneers stole some stuff from us. Yeah, they have, they have already been exploited. Let's do exotic gas refineries. Hyperborea is in need of a little bit more housing, so let's go ahead and get that done. Asperides, same situation. And they also are going to need... Hmm. You can see that our consumer goods is much better than it was. Let's continue to continue to bolster that just a little bit. And then it seems like we need a city district on Nova Egyptus. Spolitum doesn't quite need one yet, but they're gonna before long. So let's go ahead and add that and then add that mining district as well. Yeah, Ministry of Production is an obvious choice here. Construction complete. Scythia lacks... An, yeah, Scythia is a tiny freaking planet, that's why. Construction complete. So we could... I mean, there are exotic gas refineries. There's three of them here, and that's not quite necessary. So why don't we replace one of those with residences, and that will help. I'm not sure quite why I did that many on one world, but... I did, I've been doing some pretty rapid additions to our resource production in the last couple of episodes, so it might have had something to do with that. All right, looks like the upgrades are finished on our current ships. Titans, the RSS Remus and the RSS Trajan. Hey, that's my dad. Adoptive dad, anyway. Construction complete. 
are both stationed with their relative fleets. And then we have Pacifica. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do an agriculture district to solve that unemployment issue. Mining district to solve that one. Construction complete. Mining district and city district, just to be nice. We have a rural planet here. Since it's rural, let's go ahead and give them another agriculture district. All right, we are up to 10K resources, and hopefully, I would imagine, yeah, we're 830 days away from finishing up the first stage of the matter decompressor, which is really going to improve our mineral income. Let us continue. The modes must flow. We're doing three per month in pretty much every category right now. Now, yeah, we can only build two megastructures at once, so we are not going to be able to work on the Dyson Sphere, which costs just $5,000 to get started. Thank Construction God. Construction complete. It might cost more to move through it. Oh, check this out. The Izki Alliance have taken some territory from the Raxar here. So the Raxar have all this, but the Izki have taken this. That's not the worst thing in the world because that's complete. a sensible kind of chunk of the Raxar territory to take. But if the Raxar lose this war and lose that territory without gaining anything over here, that's going to be kind of sad to see, especially because I, I really would like to integrate them eventually. Construction complete. This war is still happening over here. It does seem like they've hit kind of a... Ships refitted. Yeah, they've hit a wall right here. They have not been able to advance any farther. Construction complete. Right, let's upgrade that, and we are going to need... Why don't we do a galactic stock exchange on the Venus Habitat? A little bit of an unconventional building choice there. We're going to move you to Cybrix Gamma, the same way we have with other pops in the past. Now, Gideon is in need of some more housing, so we can accommodate that. The Boracum also in need of more housing. We can also accommodate that. Hmm. Yeah, Scythia now has an unemployed specialist. Not particularly surprising, given what we did to fix the housing problem. Not particularly surprising at all. Construction complete. Mineral production getting a little bit better. It's about to get a lot better. Keep an eye on it. Construction complete. Because we are that many days, less than two years now, away from the completion of the matter decompressor. So that's going to come in handy. When, by the way, is the final ring world section going to be restored? All right. So that's, uh, that's more like three years, a little bit over three years, but it's getting there. I'm happy to say. All right, we are out of housing and nothing to do about it on Tixium. Unless we were to replace a building that we no longer need. Now you're providing how many? Okay. You're providing a good amount of amenities, so I probably don't want to replace that. That being said, I don't know that Tixium needs these research labs, so I'm going to go ahead and build luxury residences there. Tixium as a world. It's got 114 pops on it. It's one of our more populated planets. Human refugees fleeing from the Veterisius Confederation have arrived at Earth. Raxar refugees fleeing from Iski Alliance have arrived on Aqualam. That is the first time I've ever seen those. All right. Gallus Babius has died at the age of 121. Hold that thought. This is the Nafgidium sector. Now remind me, before we take a look at the piece because I really want to see what happened there. We're going to keep the game paused for a moment. Let's take a look at sectors. Go back to Naf Gideon. I want to take a close look at... Yeah, this is... That's what I thought. This was our brand new territory. So we really need a governor here that's going to... Well, an intellectual governor wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah, let's do the younger of the two intellectual recruits. So Ala Titidius is now our governor. Now, how did the peace go? Ooh, seems like it was a uh, status quo. How'd it go? Yep, it was a status quo. So they lost some territory here, but gained some back here. So there's no more border gore for the Raxar. But that war didn't go particularly complete. well for them. Let's pause for a moment longer. All right, so... We have a pretty good 
rapport with them right now. I'm going to... Uh, we, we, yeah, we have deals going across the board, so like every possible boost. Let's go ahead and wait. What are some, what are some negatives? Border friction and slavery policy. All right, so they don't like the slavery policy. I don't have. Do I have any species that I'm keeping as slaves at the moment? I don't think I do. Let's hang on. A good way to look at this. A couple different ways to look at it, but let's go to Earth. All right, so we have robots, but if I were to prohibit slavery, yeah, I don't think I have any enslaved species. Let's make sure of this. No, the bath the bathrooms raid are slaves. I don't have that many Bothrazoids in my empire. No, 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 they're, they're residents. Never mind. Never mind. They're residents. What about the Dabulans? They're also residents. Just double checking this. Yeah, I don't believe I have any slaves at all. We still have some pops we need to modify, too, now that I'm looking at this. We need to go on a gene mod spree. Which we can do. That's that's totally acceptable. Full citizen, Of course, humans are full citizenship. We still need to get rid of those ten wayward humans. Yeah, I don't have any slaves. So I'm going to go ahead and prohibit slavery, and that'll help their opinion of me a little bit. Uh, let's see. Prohibit slavery. That might also help with our influence just from factions, because we probably have a faction that doesn't like the fact that we have slavery. So let's take a quick look. All right, so let's look at our biggest factions first of all. No species-wide slavery. Good. So they actually like that, and we are getting more influence per turn from them now. And, um... Wow, the Galactic Emancipation Network is not happy at the moment because <laughs> they don't want an imperial style government and they're a fairly large faction so it might be good they, they have relatively low support but they are a large faction so it might be good to suppress them it'll reduce my monthly influence but um, I want to make sure that they don't get any bigger. I would like them to diminish in size, primarily. So let's let's do that. But having done that, let me also offer a trade deal. We're going to offer energy credits and food and consumer goods, because I'm feeling nice. And then, let's see. Why don't we... That's right, control shift is how to get the massive chunks. All right, so if I want to give them 5,000, 10,000 food, or oh, they really like the idea of getting energy credits from me. They don't even necessarily like the idea of getting the food. That's a waste. They don't like the idea of getting the consumer goods either. But they like the idea of getting the energy credits, of all things. What about rare resources? I have lots of volatile modes. They really like that idea. Like, they would love me forever for giving them that. And then, what about rare crystals? Yep, love me forever. Okay, and then, well, what else? Give them 500 living metal. Let's just give them all that and see what that does to their opinion of us. Yeah, you're damn right they accepted it. All right, so now they have a very positive opinion of us. We can offer a migration treaty with them. Unfortunately, man, demanding vassalization is still... That sucks, man. Is it because is it because they're 
associated. Why can't I offer protectorate status? Because they're just they're just not that weak, I guess. I really expected to be able to integrate them. I mean, maybe in the end game I'll still be able to do it, but that did not play out the way I wanted it to. Okay, well, I mean, the migration treaty at least... will increase their trust of us. So let's let's do that and see if that gets us anywhere. I, I very much doubt that it will, but we'll try it. Construction complete. All right, you can see our influence per month just went down a little bit. Still close to five, though. And also, we're at 30 minutes into this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here. How are we doing? Let's check really quickly. All right, 1,045 days remaining there. And then let me go ahead and close off some of these notifications. So they've accepted the, the migration treaty. Matter decompressor site. All right, good. 504 days remaining on this, and we will start seeing a lot more minerals come in. And then in a thousand days, we'll be able to finish, or we'll be able to start building our Dyson Sphere in the Chromagian system. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, again, I'll stop this one here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.